to another newscast here at DHS. It was a big night for eight seniors on Monday night. Homecoming took place during halftime of the Dons against Dexter. A big crowd turned out for the game and congratulations to Macy Manis, who was named this year's homecoming queen. We'll have more on the game later in sports. Now that homecoming is done, the focus turns to the next big event at the high school. Mr. and Ms. DHS is coming up in a couple weeks on October 19th. All of the candidates have been picked for the event and you can see who is selected for each club. One boy and girl will be selected as Mr. and Ms. DHS at the event that Saturday night. The elections are about a month away and some seniors got an opportunity to make sure that their voices are heard for the first time. The county clerk's office set up at the Career Center this week to register any student that is at least 17 and a half to vote. For those that will be 18 by the time November 5th rolls around, they'll get to help choose who the next president will be. One student says he's excited to take part in the elections for the first time and have his voice heard. I believe it's important for people to get out and vote because even though there's however many million of us in the country, that one person can still impact it greatly. The Missouri Department of Elementary and Secondary Education was at the Career Center yesterday. Roger Barnes, who is a coordinator in career and technical education, spent time touring the new Career Center and speaking with students and staff members. Mr. Barnes also announced some additional funding to help purchase commercial kitchen equipment for the culinary arts program that will hopefully start next year. Project Graduation has another fundraiser going on. They're selling Krispy Kreme donuts for the next couple weeks. They're $16 a dozen for the plain glazed donuts and $18 for the specialty donuts. Orders have to be turned in by October 21st. See any senior to place your order. And that's news and announcements for this week. Here's Corey with sports. Thanks. As we mentioned earlier, the football team played Monday night against Dexter on homecoming night. The defense was the name of the game in the first quarter of the game as neither team scored any points. That's right, 0-0. Zero zero. Dexter scored first in the second quarter to take the lead, but it was all Donovan after that. Jacob Putman tied the game with this nice catch and run into the end zone to make it 6-6. Six to six. A few minutes later, Jaden Billings gets the pass and takes it in as the Dons take the lead. They then added another 21 points in the second half to win the game by a score of 33-6. to six. They'll be playing East Prairie here at home Monday, and that will be senior night as well. As for the baseball team, they had three games this week, starting with the game here at home Tuesday against Couch. The Dons ran away with that game pretty easily with the final score of 16 to one. They had another home game last night against Zenith, and here's the score of that game. Their third game will be played at Naylor tonight. The softball team also had two games, but they're both on the road. They traveled to Chaffee on Tuesday and won that game by a score of five to zero. Last night they played at Van Buren, and here's the score. The volleyball team only had one match this week, and that was Tuesday night at Lesterville. The Donnets lost that match in three sets. They will play Popper Bluff Monday night. And finally, the cross country team took part in a meeting Ellington Wednesday. Myla Scrimpture took fourth, Macy Manis took fifth, and Carson Haygood placed 13th. That's sports for this week. Time to check out the good old weekend weather forecast. After a few comfortable fall days, it's going to warm back up again this weekend. It'll be sunny on both Saturday and Sunday with highs in the mid-80s, but we drop back down into the 70s starting on Monday. That's the newscast for this week. Thanks for watching and have a great weekend.